So the final number might be 250, 300 that we picked up. Dr. Paul Bologna and his students at Montclair State University are counting, examining 10, and weighing exotic jellyfish. So we can understand sort of when did they start, how big are they going to get, what's the population. The marine biologist is referring to these clinging jellyfish, a venomous species with a powerful sting. It's native to the Pacific, but they were found Saturday in the Matitaconk River in Brick, New Jersey. They're very, very small. Um, size of a dime, size of a quarter is about as big as they get, um, but they'll put you in the hospital. In recent years, the jellyfish were spotted more north in the Shrewsbury and Manasquan rivers, but never in the Matitaconk River that leads into Barnegat Bay. We don't know how long they've been here. They might have been here for decades, and nobody's actually seen them. Then these siblings came along. We're, we're the only ones that found it in the Matitaconk River. They were just kids being kids, playing in the water behind their grandma's house, and found the jellyfish on seaweed, luckily wearing protective gear when they did. It's really frightening and cool at the same time. I've never seen this type of species before and we've been here a long time. Experts say the jellyfish tend to congregate in the shallow waters by vegetation, never really by ocean beaches. But the Department of Environmental Protection and this professor are still warning beachgoers this season to be on alert. And you're wanting to avoid any sort of uh, big amounts of algae that are kind of floating around. And if you are stung, you are advised to get to a hospital right away. Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. For more information about the jellyfish and what to do if you see one, head over to CBSNewYork.com.